Welcome to Good Mythical More. Can we identify with animals? Of course we can. Can we associate the other person with the same choice? I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't. Oh. I thought that, that, that that's a little. Uh, I thought that it had chainmail built into that new shirt. No. That's why I did that so uh, aggressively. Yeah, yeah, it actually. This yeah. isn't the chainmail. Don't do it version. again, though. That's that hurts. Right. That that did hurt. Right. That that actually hurt. Uh. Uh, that hurt me. It, just, I just, I it hurt me a little just, bit. Just playing with you. <laughs> We're going to playlist them all. Yeah, there's others if you want me to grab one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we're going to go with words that rhyme with dog. Frog. Fog. Uh, smog. Log. Cog. <laughs> Flog. Um, ma. Ma. Already? Already. Pog. Trog. Tog. Delight. Um, dog. Flog. Flog. Snug. I think, I, think, I think we're just out. You said snug. Yeah, I've been out. Are there any that I we also missed? Said, I, think we uh, had I also on. said one that probably isn't a word. Jog. I said bog. Jog. Blog. Remember those? But I did say cog. That's pretty good. All right, give us our first quadrant as we kind of like figure out what we're doing. Okay. So, so to re-explain what Link so nicely explained at the top, you, you have to pick the dog that you think is you uh -huh. and you think is the other guy. Okay. <laughs> See, A, that, that guy right there. Jasper does that. Jasper face. makes that face. And he does it... When he's happy, mm -hmm. not when he's mad. He's smiling, yeah. And he's like, he just can't. It's like when he, when I get home from work, is when he makes it because he just can't contain himself. It's, mm -hmm. And it, but it's like, it's ugly, and we're like, Ooh, just, just don't make that face. And don't so be I, ugly, Jasper. And I leave. I leave. I go back out. <laughs> he's happy though. I know, but it's just. You're gonna make it feel it's self conscious. Like, it's like his face is like morphine. It's like it's like he's being blasted with a leaf blower. Okay, so again, I have my but choice and Link's cute. choice. Just so I can get. So my choice <laughs> is the thing that I think that represents me, and Link's choice is the thing that I think that he will say represents him, or I think represents him. Mm -hmm. I think it. What he what Link thinks would represent him. Okay. I thought you were. You I'm going to do picking. what I think represents Link. Yeah, and we'll yeah. see if we, he has the same view of himself. I think that's yeah. I think that's more fun. Okay, so me and then so we're describing ourselves, and then we're just mm -hmm. let's see how this plays out. I don't know what's going on with D. How would you describe D? Um, it's like, is he, is that like mid ear shake and they took a photo? Um, it made him so dirty. You know, I, I don't, I have no idea. So B is, he's on a, it's a basset on a laptop. So yeah, yeah. It's, he's, he's grandfatherly and studious. He's, he's wise. Um, okay. What, what did, um, what did you say about yourself? Co cover up what, what you think I said. I said I was D. Why? Uh, because he looks a little like unkempt and like, you know, his eyes go in different directions. <laughs> that happens to me sometimes in pictures. Well, your eyes are different sizes. Oh, well, they also but they don't go, go in different uh, directions. No, sometimes. Are you? No, that didn't, that didn't work. They were both going in the same direction. Well, sometimes they will if I don't really concentrate. Okay. You know, I just feel like a wandering eye. D's up for anything. You know what I'm saying? I am. I'm trying to cover up mine. <laughs> I thought. I thought you were going to say that you were B. Oh no no. Oh no 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 no. Because I don't you, have glasses. You like to. You like to research stuff. Yeah, but I don't. I mean, but I don't look like a professor when I'm doing it. <laughs> I know you don't, but uh, fine. I was being easier on you than you were being on yourself. I'm hunched over and. After all that talk about like Jasper not being able to control himself, uh, regardless of how it made him look, I have to go with A for me. I went with C for you. 
Thanks, man. Uh, That's who I want to be. I want to be it's because posh and pampered. That dog has, first of all, Netflix covered and chill. in light purple clothing, and everything <laughs> around him is light purple. Yeah. And that dog has like gotten everything exactly the way that he wants it, and is in yeah. a giant blanket. And is and you know he's got his remote. He's in control of what we're watching. It does. It does take me like thirty minutes to get ready for anything that I'm gonna watch. There you go. See, yeah. Look, we we okay. basically we selected all four, and we were wrong, all across the board. Let, let's try again. Okay, let's move to cats. Cats, Brett. You want to be associated with a cat in general? Cat, let's describe these a little bit more now. We got a cat nap. In A, you got B. That's a sneaky cat. Sneaky. Punch not. Sneaky and, and mean. And cat's about to do something. C is just that is a wild stretch there. It just make it just looks so celebratory. That is the most celebratory stretch I've ever seen. And then D is cozy and cute. I don't. I actually think that D looks a little bit like, why did you put me in these clothes? Miserable. Miserable to be put in this position? Just not happy with, not happy with what the owner has decided to do. Um, okay. okay. I will say that I'm kind of torn in describing myself. You know, I don't feel like you can pin me down to one cat. Well. I can go ahead and tell you which two you're torn between. I'll just go ahead and put that as a little ratio. Okay, Underneath well then I'll, I'll do that as a... Uh, and then for you, what do I think you are? I don't think I'm on here. Uh, we gotta get a fifth cat. <laughs> do we have a fifth cat? No, let's see. Um, okay. Hmm. Lock in your answers. Uh, I don't... This is hard. This is really. This is really hard. This is hard. I. It's the hard. Okay. Uh, okay. I like to look at a cat. Go ahead. You go first. Cats are great to watch. I thought that you said D because you're associating yourself with a cat out of um, just requirement. This is not a position you want to oh, put yourself. Oh, that in. was. Uh, I mean, that was a little deeper than I was thinking. Uh, I just went. With B, because I think sometimes he looks grumpy. People not sneaky. I, yeah, I just think that people think that I might be upset because I just I have a serious face a lot of times, but I'm yeah. very rarely, if ever, upset. So unless I'm playing a bit about like trombones or something. <laughs> uh, okay. So what did you think I was? Uh, you are an A, but you want to be C, but you're really just a guy who takes an inordinate a number of naps in any given week. I, I, I love a good nap. Um, but I put that as my alternate. I thought you were gonna. Oh no! I said I was C. I, I said myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said you want to be C, but you're actually A. Was exactly I, what you did. I know you. I know you better than you know yourself, man. Oh, oh so God. that's right. You, yeah. you did it. I was completely okay. right. I just interpreted it by completely. You right. were completely right. Completely right. Completely right. Just like that right. beagle in the in the previous. You want to hear thing. something uh, really sad about a cat? I was walking my dogs um, yesterday morning, and I saw the top half of a cat on the side of my road. Uh, was it also with the bottom half? Nope. Oh, no bottom half. Okay, then you probably shouldn't have told that story. And it was um, it was not alive. Yeah. It was no longer living. Top uh, half like hot dog style or hamburger style? No. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I don't I don't know how to answer that actually. <laughs> But the oh yeah, uh, hamburger style, yeah, yeah, and uh, that is how what the coyote I think did is uh, made a. Why do coyotes do that? Because that's what happened to me when I uh, used to live in Sherman Oaks. We went in the front yard and it was half a cat. Mm. Like, why do they do that? What are they trying to? What are they? Trying, what are you coyotes trying to do? What are you the, trying to say? The day before, there was a dead snake right there, uh, and and his mouth was open. It wasn't. It wasn't a rattlesnake. Uh, it was um, just a snake. And his mouth was open, and it kind of looked like he was—he was really relaxing, like he was like the ultimate relax, the ultimate relaxing. Yeah, he was also dead, and um, yeah, uh, so that was a, that was a bit 
that was a bit sad. Do you want to uh, talk? Less? And I also, you want to hear something else yeah. sad about a dog? Yeah, Just yeah, to yeah, even yeah. it out. Um, yeah. I walked to the end of my walk, and well, I'm almost to the end of my walk, and at the most precarious position on the walk, you saw the other half. Of Jade, the Jade always has to drop a deuce, and it was like at a precarious spot in the road. So here I am picking up dog doo doo off the road, and this car goes by me way too fast. Oh, did you give him the hey? I almost did. Yeah, I love giving that. And then I noticed that the guy then whipped up where I was going and walking. So I finally oh, I walk up there. Got it cornered. And then I see that the car is parked at the at the dead end, and it like it's it dead ends into like a canyon. It's pretty picturesque. Oh yeah. And um, there's a water tower there and a chain link fence, and the guy. Is is down on a knee in front of the chain link fence, which is locked. And I was like, "Well, they, maybe he's doing some work, like trying to get the lock open." And as I walked up, I was like, "I don't know, tw- twenty yards from him." I heard him <laughs> whispering something, mm. and I was like, "Well, if this guy's..." This is erratic behavior, and should I be talking to this guy? Should I say anything? And I, I walked up and I, I looked over the vista, and um, I didn't, decided I wasn't going to say anything. And then I just kept hearing, "Hema." You said he's talking to himself. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, I was like, I gotta say something. So I said, um, "You looking for something in there?" And he turned around and he said. Um, my my dog's been missing for six days, but oh. somebody called me and said they saw him run up this way this morning. So that explains why I guess he was like darting up there, but it doesn't explain why he didn't turn and ask me if I had seen the dog. Now he got there before I did, but still I'm walking Who around was he the whispering neighborhood. To? He was calling the dog, but he was like, I guess embarrassed or something? I mean, where are you? To call the dog, which made me suspicious that he was making the whole thing up. Because then I was like, well, what's the dog look like? And he, he was like, well, it's bigger than your your brown dog, a little bit, short hair. I was like, what's his name? He said, Nick. I was like, definitely lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then I said, so somebody saw, somebody saw him just now and called? Because he has a collar? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, well, if you, if you, if you can get close enough to a dog to see the phone number, can't you hold the dog? Is what uh, I was thinking. This is weird, man. So I, I just felt like a little weird. You I, witnessed something that was not. And then he was what like, "You thought it was." Then he was like, "Do you want my number?" What? Um, I was like, I was like, I'll, I'll look for your dog because I walk this way every morning. He was like, "Well, um, uh, I could give you my information in case you see him." I was like, "Yeah, great." And then he starts walking to his car. And I pull out my phone, and he was like, oh, I guess you, you can just write down my information. I was like, yeah. Tell me your information, I'll write it down. What was he going to go do? Get Which a business I card? I don't know. I don't know. It was all so strange. Uh, I'm very suspicious. On the walk back, I did see his dog, but I was like, I'm not telling him. <laughs> yeah. He's too weird. Yeah, yeah, right. That dog's better off um, in the wild. It's just weird, Dodging right? coyotes. I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. Uh, you know what? We got something we want to we, we want to promote, but we're gonna wait a second because we want to get that story out of your out of keep, your memory. Keep, hey, keep, keep your pets close. Let's let's go to the next one of these. Keep your enemies closer. <laughs> oh god. Oh. So we now got we're into primates. primates? We yeah. got Baboon. a. What is that? A mandrel? B. We've got a chimpanzee. Yeah, a C. We got a a laid back chimpanzee. Grabbing his crotch. <laughs> D, we got a little monkey. He's nervous. That monkey got big ears and anxiety. <laughs> okay. The mandrel is just like totally over it. Okay. Like, shh. Uh, Seriously? Uh, mm. Boss man B over there with his cigar. Boy, I you know I know that we shouldn't dress chimpanzees up like people. We shouldn't. But when we do, <laughs> I mean, but boy, is it great! <laughs> it's great. <laughs> but we shouldn't. You shouldn't do it. You know, even if they seem like they want to, even if they come up and ask you to get into the clothes, 
Okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. This one's like pretty clear to me. Like there's a there's oh, a is? part that just looks like a GMM episode. Oh, in, hell in yes. This. Yeah, the, my mine is remarkably easy. I just hope that Link gets it. Okay, uh, and then the Link is not as easy here. Yeah, I mean, I you know. Okay, I don't know. All right, I'll go with what I thought you were. Well. You go with what you thought I was, because you had to had to exasperated do. mandrel, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks like is this a, is this anyone? Does this say more moment, about me than you? Any one moment where Link has done something very Link on this show, and then I make that face, and he might do something like C, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just like what? What? What do you mean? My crotch was towards the camera. <laughs> so what? <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I throw in a little bit of anxiety, but it has nothing to, the things that I'm not anxious about, I am totally crotch first about, <laughs> you know? So it can be, I can be both. So I put a little bit of a D in there. So, so we're, so uh, we nailed that yeah, one. Yeah, we're right on for that. Now let's talk, now have that we, we- Have we forgotten about the half the cat yeah, 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 and yeah, the yeah, lost yeah. dog? No one's thinking about that. So let's talk creepy about- Creepy guy, real creepy guy. If you really want to find your dog, why whisper at nothing? Okay, all right, let's do the next one. And then Yell we'll at the dog. Do. We'll do the we'll do the next one and then we'll do the announcement when you when you're not thinking about the dog. But when we do announce it, it's gonna be. Um, you know. What does GMCP stand for? I can't even remember. Good, Good mythical <laughs> crew, the pod. Oh yeah, sorry Chase. Glad he's not here today. Glad he's under the weather. Well, I'm not glad he's under the weather. But if he were to be under the weather, today's a good day to do it because I just forgot the name of his his show on the Mythical Society. Good mythical crew the podcast. Um, when I'm not going to promote it though. An owl. A horse. I would call that a very surprised owl. I would call that a um, very wispy horse. All owls look surprised. C is a husky. Is that a husky or a Malamute? In a car. I think it's photoshopped. And then D is a is a rabbit reading a paperback. Every part of that C is is photoshopped, including the wheels on the on the on the thing. You what know? is real? What is real? What is real? Right. I'm going out on a limb here. Well, then it's got to be the owl. Ooh. I don't know what my choice is. I know what I think your choice for yourself is, which is B. Okay. And I'm gonna make my choice before you tell me. Yeah, because of the hair. I mean, that pony got a mane, y'all. But you know what I did? I think I'm gonna pick C for me because I just can't explain it. And I don't, I don't like, don't, don't, don't try to get me to explain myself. It, well, I just said you were also B. Because I feel like that okay. horse's hair is kind of a combination of our two hairs. It really, yeah, it really is. I mean, it's really actually exactly my hair right if, now. I mean, if they took, <laughs> if there it? was a way for them to take our DNA, put it together, and with then a horse, saddle it with a horse, that would be the horse right there. You want to promote it now that we've got distance from now the that we've talked about half like a cat and the genetically monster. engineering our DNA together with a with a horse and making a horse man hybrid. The only thing I was thinking was that maybe the guy was so discombobulated and embarrassed because he's the one who lost the dog. He didn't want to admit to it. And maybe he just wanted me to leave because he thought that my dog would scare off his dog if his dog was there. So he was like, if I just ignore this guy. I think he's just a weird dude. Well, I have his number. I could call him and ask him. Let's Dude, I got him. some follow-up questions, Let's man. Let's call him right now and tell him we've been talking about him. Michael. Ooh, that's his name? And the dog's he said name his is name was Michael. Nick. And the dog's name is Nick. Well, we don't really have a choice. I'm gonna promote this at this point. Uh, Good Mythical Crew, the podcast. Uh, there's a summer series link that we're doing over there on the society, and this is when- Well, Chase is doing it. Uh, Chase, yeah, but the collective we. Uh, but mostly Chase. Chase is chatting uh, with one crew member each episode 
puts them in the hot seat, and they answer some questions that you might be dying to know. Uh, and, and some you won't believe that we asked them. Yeah, we asked these questions. We, um, yeah, we did ask Chase to ask questions that it, when they answered them, it could be fireable offenses. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah, what yeah. we did. All episodes are out now. It's available to second and third degree. Uh, second degree, you only get the audio. But you can, you, you'll get a, an idea of what's going on. But Who if you really want to see what's going on, yeah. you got to be third degree. <laughs> Who fessed up to fireable offenses? Mythicalsociety.com. Mythical all right, one last one. We'll, we'll make it quick. Uh, a, we got a sleeping pug. B, we've got a, a, a mating. I think that's a that's a bird that's trying to get busy. Okay. We got a sloth, and we got a camel listening to music. Okay. Okay. This is easy. This is easy. All right. Okay. All right. So for you, I'm definitely C. I mean, sorry, sorry, D. <laughs> D, you're the camel with the headphones. Enjoy. I, I, I like to listen to music and I like to stay awake, hydrated. Uh, I put B for you because that's you like of the sex. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I like it the sex, but you like it to talk about liking the sex. Well, I like to do. I like to dance for my wife. And that's right, right? And she likes yeah. to stare at me really close when I'm doing it. Look at that, and then reject your advances because your plume isn't big enough. <laughs> that was a low blow to try to make that the thing we went out on. I'm sorry. Plume. Good Mythical Crew, the podcast, Hot Seat Summer. All episodes are out now, available second degree and third degree. MythicalSociety.com.